Why, why you gotta be like that towards my videos? Why can't you just appreciate what I'm making? To appreciate what I'm making. What's up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are doing a reaction video, but not just a reaction video. We are doing a reaction to a reaction video. So some of you may or may not know, there's a YouTuber called Danny Gonzalez. And Danny decided to make a video reacting to my TikTok videos. And Danny has called it, getting deep with the saddest videos on TikTok. So already, I know, because he put the saddest in quotation marks, I know he's, he's gonna be taking the mick out of me. So, what I wanted to do is kind of watch along with this video and react to his reactions. So if you don't know who Danny is, he is a YouTuber, uh, an American YouTuber, with 3.32 million subscribers. So, let's get into this, shall we? What's up, Greg? I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome back to my channel. This, of course, is another episode of Deep Dan. That's me. Already, I know what the theme is gonna be. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm Deep Dan, because today, this Dan <laughs> is getting deep. I'm not like most people, okay? I'm Why did he zoom in at his chin? Let's go back. Dan. That's me, baby. I'm Deep Dan, because today, this Dan is getting deep. I'm not like mo Zoomed into his chin? Is that a normal thing to do on YouTube? Or is that a mistake? All right, let's go. People, okay? I'm not like most boys. I don't go on TikTok to have fun, or to watch funny videos, or to laugh my little butt off. I go on TikTok because I want to get sad. I want to watch some deep stuff, okay? I'm on TikTok to get my mind blown with some deep content. Which is why when I discovered this dude, only Christian Ty on TikTok. That was a while ago as well. Content. Which is why when I discovered this dude, only Christian Ty. That was a while ago. That was 579.7k. I think I have 700 and something thousand now. Um, yeah. I, on TikTok, my life was pretty much complete. Christian Ty posts the deepest TikToks, or at least he really tries. He tries very hard to make deep TikToks. They all have like crazy twist endings, and they all use the same sound. <laughs> like all of his deep TikToks use this, you know that song uh, that's like, They all use that song, except not the actual song, it's a cover of it by some other dude named Simone Bernini. So I figured since I found probably <laughs> the best deep TikToks in the entire world, I should share them with you guys, and we should watch them and uh, just get deep. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's complain. Okay, so this is a conversation between a girlfriend and a boyfriend. The girlfriend's asking the boyfriend all these questions, and he's not answering the way she wants him to. She's like, do you think I'm pretty? He's like, no. She's like, do you want to be with me forever? He's like, no. She's like, would you cry if I walked away? And he's like, absolutely not. But then she goes to leave, and he's like, you're not pretty. You're beautiful. I don't want to be with you forever. I need to be with you forever. And I wouldn't cry if you walked away. I would die. I would die. <laughs> if you walked away, I would just collapse on the floor. And that's the end of the- Well, firstly, all right, let's just let's see what he has to say. Talk pretty deep, right? Pretty, it's like kind of a twist ending. You thought the boyfriend just hated his girlfriend and was telling her straight up to her face. But it turns out he actually does like her. I feel like I don't really even need to provide any critiques on this TikTok. And that's because this is literally ripped from a meme that I made a video about like over a year ago. I think it's like word for word. He must have saw and was like, damn, that is deep. I gotta steal that. And it was. Firstly, this story is something that has been around on the internet for a long time. The idea of, you know, the girlfriend needing, needing that love from the boyfriend and really seeking that love, going to her boyfriend and not, you know, her boyfriend straight away reacts as if he doesn't love her. But then it's the flip card where he actually really does love her. This meme or this kind of concept has been around on the internet for a long, long time. Um, so Danny has actually stolen that, stolen that straight off of something else. What I did is see it and then remake it, uh, which is what TikTok is for. You can still, even if I did steal it, you can steal things on TikTok. Um, and remake them yourself, that's what TikTok is about. So Danny, you need to get on TikTok, mate, because you need to get with the times, fella. Bad then. It was already a bad meme. It did not need to be turned into a TikTok. Also, I like how he's like, I don't want to be with you forever. I need to be with you forever. Because I feel like the right thing to 
say would be like, I want to be with you forever, and I need to be with you forever. Not, Could look, be right. I, I need to be with you, but I don't want to be, okay? Let's get that straight. If I could leave, I would. I'd be out of here in a jiffy, but unfortunately, if you ever left me, I would die. Because apparently you're a witch? Or, or something? Who's cast a spell over me? The whole thing seems a little bit unnecessary to me, but hey. That's what makes it D. Okay, and this next one, which uses the exact same sound, of course, it's a scene between a younger brother and an older brother. The older brother's playing video games, and the younger brother's like, hey, can I play? And the older brother's like, uh, can we play tomorrow? I'm in the middle of something. So he's like, okay. Then the next day, he comes back and he's like, can I play now? And the older brother's like, no, I'm still busy. Then the next day, the older brother is playing video games, and instead of the little brother coming in and asking if he can play again, the older brother gets a text from his mom, and it says, you need to get to the hospital now. Now. Your brother has been involved in an accident. He's dead. <laughs> what? That fast? She sent all of those texts within like seconds of each other. You gotta get here right now. Your brother's just been in an accident. He's, oh, he's dead. Never mind. You don't need to come anymore. And the older brother's like, oh, what have I done? Okay, so in this, <laughs> I see what he's saying, but in that scenario, the mom wouldn't want to tell the brother over text that his brother's dead. Uh, she would want him to be there, but then she also wouldn't want him to go all the way there and find out. So, it could work. I should have played video games with my younger brother, and then he wouldn't be dead. I don't know how those two things are correlated, but the moral of the story is, don't... Don't ignore your brother or he'll die. It's really deep when you think about it. it seems no, like the moral of the story is, spend the time you have with your family and your siblings. Spend it well, because you never know when, when they could go. You know, life is so unexpected. Someone could be dead tomorrow. Look at Kobe Bryant. Uh, rest in peace, Kobe. But, you know, it's exactly like that. That happens in real life. Happens every day to normal people. So, I get Danny's trying to make fun of me and make fun of the videos. But the actual message behind these videos is, is a real thing. So, if you do appreciate his videos as well, like, I don't mind that. But please, don't disregard the meaning in my videos just because he's saying it's ridiculous. But yeah, let's carry on. Pretty sensitive information to be texting your son. Like, you should at least call him. The texting seems a little disingenuous, especially since apparently this is the first text. If you're in the hospital with your dead son, you haven't got time for a phone call. You've got time to text quickly, so. Mother has ever sent him. Hey son, this is mom. I just got a new phone number, so uh, make sure you save this in your phone. Also, uh, Kevin died, so. Sorry. So this one, there's a group of kids eating lunch. There's Tom who always eats alone. Jack is like, why does Tom always eat alone? And Charlie's like, I don't know. I think he wants to be. And he just keeps on eating his banana and thinks nothing of it. But Tom's over there thinking, I wish I could be friends with them, but I'm scared they won't like me. Then we cut to a week later and Tom's chair is empty. And Jack's like, wait, where's Tom? And Charlie's like, I don't know. He hasn't been in. And he's still eating a banana. I love that Charlie is always eating a banana. That's like his distinctive characteristic. Like Tom had a scarf, Jack has a green shirt, and Charlie eats bananas. Every shot Charlie's in, he's gotta be eating a banana or you won't know it's him. Classic Charlie. Classic film method of distinguishing a character by giving them something that they can do. Something that you know that they do. So he has a banana. But yeah, it's funny. Eats 80 bananas a day. Class, I regret to inform you that our loved classmate Tom sadly passed away last night. What do you think it says on the board there? Friday, good. It says Friday, good morning class. But then it like rewinds to an alternate scenario where Jack does go over and sit with Tom and then the TikTok just ends. So we'll never know what happens to Tom in the world where Jack goes and sits with him. I we're meant to assume that he's not going to die now, or maybe he'll, yep. he'll die in two weeks instead of one. Who's to say? We don't even know how he died. He could have gotten mauled by a bear, and, <laughs> and Jack going over to sit with him won't help with that, will it? Not unless he goes over and gives him bear repellent. I just really wanted to tell you, I love you. I love you too. Really? Of course I love you. Prove it. How? Scream it to the world. I love you. Why did you whisper it to me? Oh no. Oh no. No! Because you are my world! Oh no! Ugh. No! It's too cute! <laughs> <laughs> because you are my world. Man, what the f is too deep? Didn't like it. Did not like that. That's got Fair enough. This guy's not very romantic then. We'll just leave it at that. 
be stolen from a meme too. That is prime <laughs> deep relationship meme material right there. One thing I've noticed with his videos is on top of using the same sound with every video, he also wears the same scarf. And at first I thought it was like a character identifier, like the girlfriend <laughs> always wore the scarf. But in some videos, every character wears the scarf. Like in this video, the girlfriend's outfit is a hoodie and a scarf. And then the boyfriend's outfit is a hoodie, the scarf, <laughs> and a hat. It kind of creeps me out how he's always wearing that scarf. It's like the same scarf in every video. It reminds me of a book that I read when I was little. I don't know if anyone else has read this. There was like a book where a girl always wore a scarf for her whole life and she gets no, married and then at the end of her life she tells her husband she can he can take off her scarf and he takes it off and then her head falls off and the scarf was really holding her head on the whole time. Has anyone else read that book? I feel like Christian Ty's scarf keeps all the deepness in. It vacuum seals the deepness right into his neck where deepness is stored. Everyone knows that. If he didn't wear it, all the deepness would just like shoot out of him. He would just be vomiting out deepness constantly. Um, and I would be vomiting vomit. Hospital waiting room. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. It'll be fine. I've got my scarf. You've got your scarf. We're, we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. How do you know? You've never had heart surgery before. Okay, dude. He's just trying to help. He's trying to comfort his girlfriend and the girl's like, how the f*** do you know? Little Oh, have you had heart surgery before? No, I didn't, I didn't think so. You just need to trust me. I do trust you. Oh. Okay, she came around quick. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. After heart surgery. Girl wakes. It's just fun to watch and see people's different reactions to my videos. I wish there was more of these on YouTube, but let's carry on. Uh, oh no! She's not wearing a scarf anymore! They took off her scarf during surgery? I'm surprised uh -huh. she survived. Welcome back. I'm Me pleased too. to tell you the surgery went very well. Doctor, where is he? Where's my boyfriend? Oh, don't you know who gave you the new heart? The boyfriend gave her his heart, his yeah. living heart. He was a living person. A living person can't donate their heart to someone. <laughs> what hospital takes hearts from living people? That's not allowed. This isn't real. This is a concept video. This is a TikTok. What don't you understand about it? No, I'm just joking. I'm not actually angry. Why, why you gotta be like that towards my videos? Why can't you just appreciate what I'm making? I'm just joking. I'm not actually angry. I get what he's saying, but it's supposed to be a concept video, like, it's not real, it could be real life, but it's to do with romance and the idea of unrequited love, that someone would do that for someone else, um, obviously it's not real, it's a TikTok. Alright, that's all we're going to do today, guys, it's, uh, interesting to watch Danny react to my videos, he obviously didn't understand the concept of quite a few of them, um, or they just didn't resonate with him, but thank you for watching, I love you all, have an amazing day.